Hey guys, just wanted to uh, do a little video on my latest uh, foundry work. Here's the uh, foundry body. <clears throat> this is that. This is the actual furnace body right here. Um, it's uh, it was that old um, steel steel barrel that I showed you in the other video, and basically just poured three inches of refractory cement in there. Used the uh, Used a, a, a sauna tube, a concrete sauna tube at Lowe's and made a, this is an 8 inch bore in here. And uh, you can see my inlet for my, for my, uh, my burner. And that's what it looks like on the inside and you can see it's offset. I still have to make the, uh, the plate for the bottom of the furnace yet. Um, cast a, a plate out of refractory. I've got to put a hole in the bottom of the furnace and then make a plate <clears throat> so and here's the top and that's got our refractory in it and uh, basically just welded a plate on the back of there and that's going to be for mounting our our uh, I'm going to put a basically put a kickstand on here so we can lift the plate with uh, with a, a, a kickstand sort of design um, you know that I've seen some other guys on the internet have here on YouTube so um, Basically, I'm going to go ahead and show you that fabrication process. I have the uh, the basic frame of it's pretty much um, put together here. Um, just basically welded some tube. This is the this is the one inch tube here, one inch uh, tube, and this is the inch and a quarter. And it's just you know a welded box. I didn't want to bore you guys to death with it, but basically down here, this uh, piece of roll, this piece of uh, round stock is going to be the hinge. I'm um, going to put a piece of inch and a quarter tube out, square tube out here, inch and a quarter square tube out here, and that's going to be the hinge, and there's going to be a, a metal bar that comes out, and basically, um, it'll make more sense to you as I start designing, as I start fabricating it and stuff like that, so I'll turn the camera off, and then when I get a little bit more done, we'll turn the camera back on. Alright guys, a little update on the uh, fabrication process here. Um, so just installing the uh, the foot pedal lever here and this is what we're looking like so far and uh, go ahead and get my gloves on here so I can start pointing some stuff out for you guys um, okay so down here at the bottom down here we have we have our inch and a quarter tube welded on and inch and a quarter tube on this side and I got that bar stock in there, and uh, you can see that it, it turns in there. That's going to be one of our, our hinges. This this pipe right here, this tube right here is going to go through here, and it's going to be like that, and it's going to get welded onto that round stock. I'm going to cut a I'm going to cut a channel out of this so it, it copes to the round stock, copes the round stock, and weld it there. And then basically, what's going to happen is we're going to machine a, a channel out of, out of this tube here, we're going to machine a channel out and then I'm going to machine a flat on this side that's going to receive into, into here then we're going to eventually put a pin, a pin through um, and that will hold that all together because this is eventually going to go up through here like so okay and we're going to cut this off and have it machined like I said and then when you press down on that lever it's going to push this rod up and when it pushes the rod up it's going to push the top right up and we'll be able to rotate it out of the way because this is basically a big hinge right here and this is going to rotate on this big round stock so um, that's basically where we're at right now I just wanted to kind of give a little update and I just got a bunch of machining to do and then uh, when we get back I'll turn the camera back on Alright guys, so here's our progress so far. I went ahead and got the uh, got all the components pretty much done here. Uh, and everything's pretty much tack welded. Um, went ahead and machined this part here, put a flat on the round here, put a flat um, machine channel out of this tube so we could go ahead and put our piece of all thread through here and make that a hinge. And, um, and again, this is a hinge right here. And uh, so basically it's going to, when you push down on the lever here, you can obviously see, I don't know, you can't, hold on. I pushed down on the lever here, okay? And uh, let me turn the camera up here so you guys can see what the hell's going on. When I push down on the lever, 
and lifts our top up, and we can rotate our top out of the way like so. Um, so let me go ahead and, like I said, everything's just sort of tack welded right now, so I'll go ahead and uh, let's let the camera run a little bit and uh, we'll get everything welded up proper. Okay guys, so pretty much got it all welded up here and uh, ready to go. I just wanted you to get, get a look at it before we put it back, the furnace back on it. This is what we're looking like. Okay. And like I said, it's all pretty much finally well, you know, welded. Done welding for the most part, so. Um, let's go ahead and get our furnace back on here the way it's going to be. Gonna be putting wheels on this. Uh, gonna be putting casters on this stand here. Uh, so we won't have to be lugging the stuff around like, like crazy all the time. So. That's pretty much it guys, so just go ahead and push our pedal down and uh, we can rotate our top in because the top probably weighs around, I don't know, I'm guessing 60 pounds or so, so it ain't a lightweight. Um, so this is this is pretty convenient, this, this pedal work here, so um, just wanted to say uh, thanks for watching and um, hopefully you know, I didn't get a chance to do any casting or anything yet, but uh, we're getting a little closer, and um, you know, that's a that's a look at the furnace anyway, guys. Uh, so we're that much closer. Um, thinking probably by next weekend um, we'll be able to cast. Uh, we'll be able to melt some metal, maybe even before, because I got a pretty light week. Um, but I did want to say a special thanks to A1 Marine. Um, just from helping me from the get-go on this project really I really couldn't have done it without him and you know pretty much stole all of his ideas as far as the uh, the, uh, the the furnace and um, you know the the way that I use the the lifting of the lid that mechanism and everything so again man thanks a lot and uh, wanted to say thanks to all my viewers and all my subscribers and uh, 
hopefully you guys are, ex are as excited as I am to uh, start casting some parts, but that's a look at it. Let's get one more look at it before we sign off here. There it is. And, uh, then that works pretty good, guys. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that, man. That's pretty happy with that result, so. Anyway. Again, like I said, thanks for watching, and, um, Hopefully we'll be able to cast some parts next time I see you. Thanks.